We have a voicemail number. That number is 2192DavidP. I got called out by the Eggman for using a word he claims is fake. Take a listen to what he said. Dude, you just said intimidatory about Rand Paul's wife having a loaded gun under her frickin' pillow. Look, I haven't even Googled that crap yet, but there's no way intimidatory is a word. I mean, you, you might mean intimidating. I don't know. But is that a word? You're not even a Native American. You're not even, like, from this country. I'm not Native American. Native That's language. Cool. How do you know more than I do? That cannot be a word. I'm not even going to Google it. I know it's not a word. Yeah. Quit saying intimidatory. That's crazy talk. I'd encourage the Eggman next time to Google it because it turns out that if you go to any dictionary, you will find that the word intimidatory is a word. It's an adjective. The definition of intimidatory is tending or intended to intimidate, which is exactly uh, what I meant by my use of it regarding Rand Paul's wife. The first known use of intimidatory, by the way, for the uh, language Linguist. nerds, the, the linguists, be they uh, cunning or otherwise was around 1846 with the same meaning that I gave, tending or intended to intimidate. So, uh, you know, Eggman should actually just look it up. In the internet age, isn't it easier to just do a little Google search on the word before calling David Packman show a voicemail line? I agree, I agree. On the bonus show today, Sears, once the world's biggest retailer, is now facing bankruptcy. And I also want to talk, by the way, about Best Buy in this story, if you'll allow it, Pat. I re- recently read a very interesting article about how Best Buy, by all accounts, should be out of business, but they're actually doing really well because of some particular things that they're doing. So as, so long as we don't get into your Circuit City employment experience, I'll allow it to pass. I may have to mention that, it just did in passing. Greece has banned obese tourists from riding donkeys. That is just an unusual but true story. And we will also talk about how in North Korea, former NBA basketball player Yao Ming has become China's answer to Dennis Rodman. What does that even mean? I will explain all of these stories and more on today's bonus show. www.joinpacman.com gets you instant access to the bonus show. Remember, we've got 15 half price memberships available, 10 of which have been reserved by donor Tom for female viewers and listeners of The David Pakman Show. If you want one of those 15 half price memberships, regardless of whether you're male or female, because we've got five that are available to anybody and 10 available to women as designated by the donor, email me personally, david at davidpakman.com, and I will set you up with one of those memberships. And uh, if you don't want that or don't even know what on earth I'm talking about, you can just make a pledge of five bucks a month or more at patreon.com slash davidpakmanshow. And then you'll get access to the same world famous bonus show.